Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about what is skill and especially motor skill. So skill in general refers to an activity or task with a specific purpose or goal. Um, so when used that way, it's a noun. So we're saying um, we're referring to the task itself and we could say something like she hasn't learned that skill yet. So skill used as a noun to describe the task that has a purpose or goal. Um, we also use the word skill as an adjective, as an indicator of the quality of performance. Um, so like we could say she is a skilled golfer. So in that case, that's an adjective describing the skill level of the golfer. Um, so when there are three factors in determining skill level. Um, so the first is the extent to which the performer can consistently achieve the goal of the task. Um, so maybe you're throwing a ball and trying to hit the target. So how often do you achieve the goal of hitting the target? Number two, the extent to which the performer can achieve the goal of the task under different conditions. So maybe the person is good at hitting the target every time throwing the ball, but then can they throw the ball and hit the target in different environments? So maybe outside compared to in a gymnasium or uh, under pressure during competition. So uh, the extent to which they can achieve that same goal when put under different conditions. And then the third is the degree of efficiency. Um, so what kind of strategies do they use to solve the problem? How do they focus their attention during the task? How much muscular effort is used? Um, so with practice, when someone gets to a higher and higher level of skill in a certain activity or at a certain motor skill, um, they become more and more efficient to where somebody who has a very high skill level makes something look effortless, even when they're under time pressure um, or pressure of competition or under all sorts of different conditions, they can make something look effortless. And that's the efficiency that you're observing. Um, so you're seeing that they, they found the easiest uh, way to perform that skill uh, using the least amount of muscular effort, and they focus their attention in the right way at the right time. Um, so a motor skill, uh, we also can refer to as an action. It's a skill that requires voluntary limb movement to achieve the goal. Um, so up till now, we've been talking about skill in general, which can refer to cognitive skills and other types of skills. Uh, but a motor skill or an action requires voluntary limb movement to achieve the goal. Um, to, it, so it causes a change in the environment or in the person's relation to the environment. Now, this is different from cognitive skill. Cognitive skill requires mental activity. Um, so that could be like decision making, problem solving, remembering, and so on, and does not require any actual movement of the body or any actual voluntary limb control. Um, so that's a cognitive skill. Um, so different tasks will require, you know, some might require motor skill, some cognitive skill, some both, or some other types of skills. Um, examples would be like a motor skill is walking. We can walk without really having to think about it. Uh, we don't need mental activity to be able to walk once we become skilled at walking. Um, cognitive skill would be like doing mental math. So like doing math in your head where there's no writing or using a calculator or any kind of physical movement to complete it. Um, an example of a skill that requires both cognitive and motor skill would be like playing piano. So there's the physical motor skill of the fingers on the keys, uh, but then there's also the cognitive skill. There's the thinking and planning and decision making and all of that that goes into reading music and being able to um, play music. Um, so characteristics of motor skills, they have a purpose or a goal to achieve. So there has to be a reason for it. If there isn't a reason, if there isn't a goal that that uh, movement is trying to achieve, uh, then it's just a movement, it's not a skill. Um, it also has to be performed voluntarily as opposed to involuntarily or reflexively. Uh, like for example, we blink, uh, that has a purpose to protect the eyes and keep them lubricated. Uh, so blinking has a purpose and it involves movement but uh, it's involuntary and it's not a skill. It's not something we have to learn to do and that we can improve in skill um, or lose the skill. It's just something that we do involuntarily that requires no skill. 
Um, it also, a, mo a motor skill requires movement of joints and body segments, which distinguishes motor skills from other types of skills like cognitive skills. So if a skill requires no movement, then it is not a motor skill. Um, also, motor skills must be learned or relearned for the performer to achieve the goal of the task. So that's another reason blinking doesn't qualify as a motor skill is because we don't have to learn how to blink. It's something that we do automatically without having to learn the skill. Uh, something like walking is a skill because when we're little, when we're toddlers, we learn how to walk. So it's a skill that we learn really early on and don't usually remember learning, but it's still a motor skill that we learned. And if there's a serious injury or surgery or something, sometimes we have to relearn that skill uh, following that event. And that makes it a motor skill. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.